Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome. If you're new, here we are. We're going to do a B. We are on day four for Inktober. And I am doing a B because I was going to do a car, uh, you know, the Dodge, whatever, Charger. And then I thought about doing a, you know, a beat up pickup truck. I didn't want to do that. And I thought about doing, um, uh, like people playing dodgeball or something along those lines and nothing really spoke to me. I really didn't feel like doing any of those things. So I was thinking, well, what do people dodge? Oh, well, people dodge bees all the time. So <laughs> here we are, we're, we're drawing a bee because people dodge bees pretty regularly. There's a lot, a lot of ducking and diving going on. Uh, for the background, I just spritzed uh, the paper with water with my spritzer and dropped in uh, Orca, which is one of the mica colors in the beam paint set, and the um, pumpkin spice color, which is also has mica in it and is fast becoming one of my favorite colors in the set. Um, and then for the B, I'm using fall poplar yellow instead of the I wanted him to look more yellow than golden so that's why I chose that color and then just a touch of black on the wings and then lift it out because uh, you're gonna see the dark shadow behind the wings through the wings but not completely like not dark and then I wanted to heat tool the background and the base color of the bee and get it locked in so that um, when we work on top with our blacks, it goes over really nicely. And I like the little bit of sparkle that we have right now. Just It's just enough. And the white of the paper, um, I just really like the texture that, that uh, the paint created on the page quite a lot. And for all of my Inktober pieces, I am going to be using the Stonehenge 300 pound watercolor paper. Um, I pre-cut all my pieces from large sheets and they are sitting in a pile on my desk ready to use. Um, it helps me with not having to choose a size and um, you know, once you choose a size, all right, well, do I tape it, do I not? Yes, for each one I'm going to, um, they're all five by seven and they're all going to be have a little taped border so that um, when I'm done I have a, a little pile of finished pieces hopefully, you know, that I'm proud of. Uh, right now I'm going in with the Mars Black from the Beam Paint set. And uh, I'm using Beam Paints for this, this whole piece. I'm Nothing else has been used in this piece so far. Um, as far as paints are concerned, it's just the Beam Paints. They're new. They're wonderful. I love them. Um, they're performing as expected. I, I, I have not, no complaints. Uh, right now I'm just getting in all of his black parts, all of the, just kind of going through and blocking them all in, leaving the shadows white and yellow where I can, and putting in all of his little um, dark bits. And I'm going to go in here and do some little stippling and dashes for the shadow on the underside of his little body there. And I am really, really loving these paints. They're so fun. I'm going to go ahead and get in a little bit of shadowing with that same Mars Black, but super watered down. Um, and get in some of those soft shadows of the textures of the wings. Remembering that they're very gauzy and you can see through them, so we don't want to get too bold with our strokes and our, our mark making. And now I'm going over my yellow with that pumpkin spice color, which is more of a golden yellow. And it has mica in it, so it does sparkle a bit, which I love. I love this color so much. Um, and I like how the uh, poplar yellow kind of peeks through here and there. And it gives him a little bit of um, depth of color and 
just it was a total mis um, accident I did not plan that it just kind of happened as I was painting and I was like oh cool that looks awesome I like that note to self I'm learning I'm learning a lot actually uh, about watercolor and layering uh, these last several months and really really enjoying it and I'm trying to use my dear foot stippler that's what I just showed you there it's this angled little densely packed uh, firm bristle brush not hard just gently firm uh, and I thought I could get that hair look in more quickly with that and it wasn't working and the space was too small that I'm working in so I went back to my Princeton Heritage round number six is the brush that I'm using for this whole painting go in and get all of my yellows blocked in with that um, what is it pumpkin spice color I really love how this turned out super happy with it as I'm working and I go in and bolden up a, a few a little more here and there just a little Just bold that pumpkin spice color up here and there. <clears throat> and then I'm thinking, thinking, what should I do next? I'm going to go ahead and put some of that water, super watered down pumpkin spice color on the wings and give them a little bit of glittery sparkle shine. Yeah, and then I go over that little hits here and there with the cream. Is that what it is? No, it's the shell. It's the iridescent white. Just to get a little sparkle here and there. And then I almost forgot the antennas. So here I am popping them in real quick. Just looking to see if that looks right. Is it shiny enough in the right spots? And is the black dark enough and all that and I realized that the uh, background the bees kind of blending into the background a little bit so I, w I went in with some splatter I love splatter if you don't like it don't do it um, but I particularly like the effect it gives and then kind of softened up that put in a little soft gray back there behind the wings and a little more splatter so that he'd feel a little more 3D and pop off the page a bit more. And then we're going to heat tool. I love my heat tool. Oh, and I go in with my Micron liners to deepen all of the blacks. I want all the blacks to be nice and dark. Um, not the whole, I don't block them all in. I'm not scribbling in and filling in. I'm just quickly um, putting in some deep dark areas I'm just kind of scribbling it in real quick not really thinking too hard about it this piece took about an hour to do real time it was a lot of fun very relaxing I have painted lots of bees in the past so it wasn't new territory for me but I always I feel like the more I do the better I get so it's fun to revisit the same subject matter over and over again because it just improves your skills and we're going to do a little bit of stippling and a little bit of dashes for the little fur effect on his body. And we are pretty much done with this piece. I'm going to take the tape off and do a little close up for you. Um, if you're new, I'd love for you to stick around. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment below. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Here's our close-up action. Come on, there we go. And I'll see you later. Bye.